Hello magical people of the internet. First video of 2019. So basically for this video, I'm going to be talking about what my 2018 was like and what I expect and what my goals are for 2019. I'm going to be answering questions from a New Year's YouTuber tag. There's like about 12 questions, so I'll get right into that. But first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to swish and flick the subscribe button down below if you wanna be a part of my little Slither Bell army here on YouTube. That would also make me really happy. And if you wanna make me smile even more, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video. That would really mean a lot to me. So let's get started. <laughs> that was awful. 2018 was quite a year for me. I felt like this year was probably the smoothest year emotionally. I feel like the years prior was me just kind of picking up the pieces of my emotional trauma. And then finally in 2017, I kind of felt myself healing halfway through the year. And then 2018 was basically me trying to find myself again and being okay with who I am and who I have grown up to be. This year has been full of self growth and I'm really thankful for the people that I have come across this year and all you guys along the way. You guys have really made me feel uplifted and I, feel so happy going into 2019. Let's, let me just get, get into the questions here. <laughs> if you could look back on one memory from last year that you wish you could relive, what would it be? The one memory that I would love to relive is my time in London. It's just a place that I've always wanted to go since I was little. And the fact that I got to go there with my best friend which is even more amazing i'm so glad that that was the place that we chose to go during 2018 because we had a couple of options and that one just seemed to fit us at that time and we got to see our best friend who had been living in london for years we got to reconnect with him which was great and particularly our last day in london was probably the best day though there were some pretty decent days before then but yeah that last day just having that picnic and staying in that little park area for hours just talking about everything i would relive that day over and over and over again and although like my skin was awful during the time that we left for london although my eczema was like raging at its worst possible state i still would relive that day what is one New Year's resolution that you accomplished? Well, there is one resolution that I did accomplish this year that is really very personal. I'm just not ready to say it yet. But I will say that one major accomplishment that I made during 2018 was just to be more creative, to be as active as I can in my creative work. I really wanted to do a play this year and I got to and do more projects like film and whatever projects. And YouTube is actually a really big one for me because it's it's my baby. I love my channel and I love you guys so much. I mean, I haven't grown like millions or anything like that, but even just like the small little progress I've made since last year, which is, insane. There are times where I don't feel the value in what I have to say and I'm just like, why are people watching me or why are they interested in what videos I put out? And it's really refreshing to see the familiar faces on my comment section. So I want to say to each of you who have been regularly commenting on my videos, thank you so much. And honestly, like I can't even I don't even know how to thank you guys more than saying thank you, but it really means a lot to me that you guys are so active and are so supportive. I still have some goals that I want to reach for YouTube, obviously, um, but it's a good start from here. I still plan on working my butt off for this channel for you guys and to just keep you guys as entertained or something as possible. Three words to describe last year. Three words that describe the last year was one, itchy. 
<laughs> I mean, my eczema was just awful this year. You can probably see it around my neck if you look at it, but yeah. I'm hoping 2019 will be a little bit better with that stuff. Okay, anyways, stable. And number three would be surprising. Best music related creation slash inspiration last year by an artist in your opinion. I guess if I were to pick something, I mean, I have to say when I saw Wicked in the West End, that was quite inspiring. I feel like I was really motivated to do some like singing after watching that musical and seeing how good the actors were in that show because they were absolutely phenomenal. And when you watch shows like that, you just, it just stays with you for a long time. And that one will definitely stay with me forever. Something you're looking forward to this coming year. So something I'm really looking forward to this year is to focus on my YouTube channel more, to focus on you guys a lot more, just to like be more in the like in the game of YouTube. Other than that, I am really looking forward to traveling more this year for sure. What did last year teach you? I would say that last year really taught me how strong I am. This is something that I've been surprised with myself over the years and that's my strength. And I think cause growing up, I always kind of thought I was a lot weaker than I was, but that was only because I felt like other people were telling me that. And then as I got older, I started to realize that I have some gusto. And 2018 has really made me like sit in my strength as a woman and as a human and to stand up for myself. There was a particular moment I was basically confronted with someone who has done something really terrible to me and I did not let them off the hook and I stood up for myself and I didn't give them the opportunity to come back into my life and it felt so good to slam the door in their face. This sounds awful, but um, one day I might be able to be brave enough to tell my story, but it felt really good to show this person that they didn't have any power over me anymore and to just stand in my power. And that was, that was really a great thing. This year it really showed me that I have grown up so much and I have evolved so much. What was your most worn clothing item of last year? I'd like to say that it's probably something really cute and fancy and nice, but it's probably not. I have this white t-shirt that I wear religiously because it's so comfortable. It's from um, California Moonrise or Moonrise California. And it's not what I'm wearing right now. This is totally different. This is from Topshop, <laughs> by the way. This is how much I love this t-shirt. I have two. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I've just, it's kind of like my staple because it's so comfortable and I can like dress it up and dress it down and it always makes me feel like slightly pretty and I like white, obviously. <laughs> if you had to sum up your year in one word, what would it be? I mean, there are so many words that I could use. Out of the box, friendship, um, surprising, Maybe I'll stick with surprising. Surprising is a good one because there were always a little, some surprises around the corner. Some good, some not so great, some amazing, and some not amazing at all. But yeah, so maybe surprising would be the best word to describe 2018. What are you hoping for more of this coming year? Is happiness a cliche? <laughs> because I would say I'd want more happiness this year and more friendships more love, more triumphs. Yeah, just more of the good stuff. What are you hoping for less of this coming year? There have been two major stresses and the first one has been my skin. And I would love for 2019 to have less eczema. Please and thank you, I would adore that. I would also love 2019 to be less of a financial strain. Money is always a cause for stress for everyone, I find. Um, and for me, it was no different last year. I definitely was struggling financially um, 
some months more than others, but it was definitely an ongoing thing for me. I mean, that's what I get for choosing a creative lifestyle, so it's kind of my fault. Best book you read last year? Let me just get it. Oh, where is it, where is it? The Dutch Wife by Ellen Keith. If you're interested in anything about the Second World War, uh, there are three different stories in here, so it's not just the Second World War, there's also the Argentinian War in this as well. If you're interested in kind of grittier books, then this one would probably be a good read for you, and I do warn you, it does have some pretty tough subject matter. I'll just leave it at that. If you're interested in getting this book, then you can probably find it at your local bookstore, probably. What is your New Year's resolution for the upcoming year? I usually make like a whole list of little goals that I wanna accomplish, but I'll tell you guys one of them, which is that I really want to focus on YouTube this year. I want to experiment. I want to share my life with you guys more. I wanna make more videos, so I'm gonna make it a goal to do at least like two videos every other week if I can, um, whenever that's possible. So, I mean, cross your fingers, hopefully I stick to that. So yeah, for this year, I really wanna focus on you guys, my Slither Bays. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing me delve into my life a little bit more. And please let me know what your guys' New Year's resolution is if you have one. And like I said before, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, that would make me super happy. And click the like button down below as well as you can follow my social media accounts in the description box. I hope that you guys had a great New Year's Eve and I hope that your 2019 is going amazingly well. Much love guys. Bye.